Hey, what's going on everyone? So, uh, just an impromptu video and an unboxing today of uh, Mike Fleetwood and Friends Celebration of Peter Green. Um, here's the box. It's not an Amazon box this time because I got it uh, directly from Mike Fleetwood's website. Um, fragile. And, oh. Right off the bat, we have, now this is in the deluxe edition only, but we have the set list with some mock signatures. Obviously, uh, it would have been nice if someone actually wrote on there, but uh, I think that's how most artists do it now, they're mock signatures. They're just uh, photocopied. You have Mick, obviously, on there. I can make out Christine McVie. Um, Noel Gallagher from Oasis, of course, and his solo projects. I can't say, I, I'm always bad at making out signatures. I can't say who any of those other people are. I assume one's Billy Gibbons and one's maybe David Gilmore himself. Um, anybody want those? And there's the, the box. It's a hefty brute. Yeah, this is the deluxe edition with all the bells and whistles, and it was super expensive to, um, you know, pre-order it in that, uh, when, when was that? A year and a half ago or something? And then they played it in the cinemas, and then it slowly started to come out on Amazon that you could get the CD set or the vinyl set or the box set with everything. But this one had a couple of bells and whistles. And I thought of uh, cancelling the Amazon one, but then I decided against it because, you know, this way the money goes to Mick and blah blah blah. Cut out the middleman a little bit. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There's young Peter himself. Photo probably taken in about 68, maybe? So, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's much hype for this on the net, but uh, obviously uh, there was a concert for Peter just months before he passed away. Rest in peace, Peter Green. Um, and, uh, you know, Mick uh, gathered a bunch of talented friends of his, because it's Mick Fleetwood and friends. And uh, But yeah, actual, you know, he's friends with Steven Tyler of uh, Aerosmith and Kirk Hammett, which I didn't know that. Um, most of these other friends make sense. Um, Rick Vito, of course, who's played in Fleetwood Mac, and, uh, um, also in Mick Fleetwood's Blues Band. So, uh, let's just crack into this. Ooh, that looks promising. So, uh... I don't have the setup to do the whole over the, the, um shoulder thing. So just get that off. And yeah, this covers, you know, Fleetwood Mac's uh, Peter Green lead era and the, the blue stuff that they established at the time. White guys playing the blues, but really, really well. So that's all very classy. I like it so far. And it's kind of bound in this... Uh, Interesting. I'm sure these will break over the years, but it's bound down in kind of a shoelace material. So, of course, if you order just the record, I'm sure this is what it'll look like. Got the whole story. A uh, new picture of Mick. And then play on. So this thing's got, um, you know, all those classics on it, and uh, yeah, every song has a different um, guest artist on it. Um, some of them stay up for two, some of them like Billy play, you know, on a bunch of songs while other people take the lead. You got uh, Billy Gibbons, like I said, from ZZ Top, John Mayle even came around, and he does a beautiful instrumental with them. 
Um, and he does All Your Love, which is great. And uh, Steven Tyler does... Um... Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by all the goodies. So there you go. Very uh, typical for, uh, you know, live fair. Man of the World pictures proudly present Mick Fleetwood and Friends, celebrate the music of Peter Green and the early years of Fleetwood Mac, live at London Palladium. Uh, so this happened right before COVID, uh, or COVID took over the world, so 25th of February 2020. Um, yeah. Sorry for saying I'm a lot, I just got off work and I'm so tired and then this came and I got really excited and I said, I gotta film a video. Um, oh, there's all the, the people doing their stuff. Oops. Oh, it's damaged. There's Pete from The Who, of course. Steven, Aerosmith, John, John Mayles in there. Uh, Noel Gallagher's at the top there. I was very surprised by Noel's um, chops and his singing on Like Crying. He did a really good job. Uh, I sort of like this version more than the actual um, recorded Fleetwood Mac version. And there's Christine at the bottom, if you can see her. So, <laughs> there's some nice pictures on here, actually. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Everyone in action. So yeah, there's lots to show, and very little to tell, because I've only streamed the music once, and I was going to go out to the cinema to see it, because they were going to release it in the cinema. I think they did an on-demand thing or something, but I don't have access to any of that, because I'm living in the, the Stone Age, but I was going to go off to the cinema, or the theater, depending where you're from, and they were going to um, show this. Oh, there's Neil Finn who's in the sort of current incarnation of the band, or who knows what's going on in the band these days. Yeah, I was going to go to the theater and see it, and then COVID happened, and then I guess they just, I don't know, they just put it on, um, on demand or something like that, but I missed it, so I'll be seeing it for the first time on Blu-ray. But that works. I mean, I would have loved to see it in the theater. I was really excited to go see it. Of course, Jeremy Spencer shows up, and John McVie didn't show up, but Christine McVie showed up. Um, so there's all the discs housed in the, the casing there. Uh, act one, disc one, disc one, the concert film. I just realized that I hope it's not region locked because that kind of stuff always frustrates me. Um, maybe I should have ordered it from Amazon.ca. <laughs> uh, whoever came up with region locking in that, they need a good slap in the face. There's uh, disc two, and that's uh, CD two. That's got, oh, it's really confusing, because this says CD1, but it's the Blu-ray, so that's disc one. I'll have to test that and make sure that works. Region locking, man, region locking. So that's, the disc two has uh, part one of the show on it, and then disc three has part two of the show in audio form. So it's really nice pink there. I do like the lettering. That looks really 60s Fleetwood Mac, Peter Green. Amazing set list. The sky is crying. Can't hold out. It's on there. Green Manalishi, one of my personal favorites, and Billy Gibbons does a great job of that one. Albatross. David Gilmore joins them on, and then uh... oh, there's too much going on here. So you got a little note from Mick, and that's an awesome picture to put up. Potentially. A lot of little bonuses here I never, like, actually put up. And then that's, like, they, they kind of go to waste a little bit. Oops. Get in there. And 
And then, oh, discs are falling out and everything. No, you get back in your home. All right, how am I gonna do this? There's, uh, this is gonna be really, really quick. Mick holding his guitar there. Just some reading material, nice pictures. Here's him with David. Oh, that's a nice shot. There you go. That's a good one. I'll have to go look at this myself afterwards. Neil Finn. You guys get to see. I'm like trying to look. No Gallagher there. Yeah. Very, very cool. And there's uh, Billy. I've definitely been listening to a lot more ZZ Top lately, so it's very timely this comes. And then one of my personal heroes, of course. David Gilmore playing Albatross by another personal favorite, Peter Green. And there's Kirk, who does an amazing job on uh, Green Monolishi using Peter Green's guitar there. Um, Johnny Lang. Andy Fairweather Low. Now I'm going really fast. Let's get through it. John Mayle. Who, of course, Peter and John played with back in the day. Christine. She does stop messing around in another number with them. That's really cool. Ricky Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh yeah, Jeremy Spencer shows up. I did mention him a couple minutes ago. There you go. Awesome. Um, original member, I was about to say, Zach Starkey, doing a bunch of backup percussion there with Mick, uh, Pete Townsend from The Who, of course, a hero of my uncle's, so shout out to him, Steven Tyler there, oh, I'm not going fast enough, there's too many pages. So Rick Vito, <laughs> Billy Wyman, you can obviously pause if you, you know, like what you see. I'm like peeking over trying to have a look for myself though. See all the goodies. There they all are. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, that concludes that. So that's the uh, deluxe box set there for Peter Green, uh, Mick Fleetwood and Friends, The Celebration. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got uh, like four videos coming up this week, so look forward to that. See everyone later. Adios.